am making the berry swirl no bake cheesecake and I have the four cup prep bowl and it comes with a silicon lid it's really awesome and I it says here in a microwavable bowl combine one tablespoon of mix so I, I opened this up and put a tablespoon of mix in here and then it says add one third cup of frozen raspberries and I'm going to microwave that for one minute. And then it says, mash and stir together and set aside in the fridge. And then using a stand mixer or a hand mixer, beat one softened brick of cream cheese with the remaining mix on medium high until smooth. Gradually add one and a half cups of whipping cream and whip until it's, it peaks. Fill a nine inch prepared graham pie shell. And I think, oh, I bought these instead. So the, um, the smaller ones. And, and then it says just a dollop of that raspberry mixture on top. So that is it. And then it's like so easy. <laughs> Even I can do this. Um, I have not made this before because it is brand new and I have tasted it. It's so good and it says to freeze for two hours. So, um, and I won't have quite two hours before we eat it. So, um, one and a half hours we'll have to do. Um, so now that this is done, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go ahead and use my mini whisk to mix this up. And oh, that look, I had no idea it was this easy to make that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside and refrigerate this. And then I'm going to get going on my mix with the softened cream cheese and the hand mixer with the whipping cream. to use our scraper to scrape the sides of the bowl. And then it says to add in one and a half cups of whipping cream. So now I'm going to take our graham cracker pie crusts, and we have mini ones, and I'm going to use our spatula to put the filling in the pie. So then we add the raspberry swirl to the top, and I actually was thinking that I would put some whipped cream on this too when I go to serve it. So look at how cute those are.